Coders. Welcome to our Code Along for our Moon Hack project, Looking Into Space. The inspiration for this project is our mobile phone cameras, which as a technology were actually designed for space exploration. NASA was looking for a camera that was small and durable and perfect for their astronauts to be able to use in space. Let's jump into our coding project. So our coding project starter. If you are like me and you don't have a Scratch account, you're gonna click on see inside. If you have signed into your Scratch account, click on your Remix button, ready to begin. So in our project, we can see the stage is set. We've got our astronaut here with his mobile phone, ready to do some looking into space. When I see my sprites down the bottom, I can see I've got a camera, a satellite, Earth, a star, and a planet. So obviously all of these are going to need some coding to be able to work with. So we're gonna start coding our astronaut with our event when the green flag is clicked. Make that a bit bigger so you can see. So the idea of our astronaut at the beginning of the coding project is it's gonna introduce the topic and give some instructions to the user. So we'll make sure we start with show. I know at the next part of the project, we're going to be looking through the camera of the mobile phone and the astronaut will disappear. So I wanna say when the green flag clicks, let's show. And I'm gonna make sure we actually start with this backdrop, the space backdrop, because we do have some others available. Okay. Now I need to set the position of my astronaut, which is going to be minus 160, minus 50, exactly where it is now. And then we're gonna get our astronaut to say the instructions for our player. So the first one is going to be, I love looking into space. Now, I think that two seconds will be long enough for that. Let's bring in a second save block that's going to give them a little bit more information. So I might use my phone's camera to look closer. I think they'll need a bit more time to read that instruction, so I might change that to three. Okay. Now, we've told them that they're gonna use the camera to look closer, but we don't know how they're going to do that. So let's pop another instruction that says, use the arrow keys to move the camera. And one more say block, because we're going to introduce a zoom function so that we can use the camera zoom to zoom in and out of the objects. So I'm going to tell them to slide the bar, oh, slide the zoom bar to give an exclamation mark so they really pay some attention to that. Now, once that astronaut has finished introducing this, we need it to actually switch to the backdrop and the sprites that are going to take place through the camera. We're going to do this by creating a broadcast and we're going to call that broadcast camera, making sure the camera will begin. And once I've done that, I need my astronaut to then hide because its job is done. And then we're going to switch the backdrop to the stars backdrop, which will be the backdrop for our beginning. So let's test out our code and make sure it works. I love looking into space. I might use my phone's camera to look closer, use the arrow keys to move the camera, slide the zoom bar to, and I have my next space setting. Fantastic, exactly what I need. Let's look at how we're going to start the game. Let's click on the camera sprite. Now the camera sprite is an interesting one. If you look at yours, it's a completely black screen except for a little spot in the middle that's see-through. So this is imitating a black space, but a small zoom hole for our camera. So we need to tell it that when the green flag is clicked, 
it does need to hide. We do not want to see this sprite as the game begins. Now, it's going to begin when it receives the broadcast of camera. So once it receives that broadcast, we need it to show on screen and we're going to set it to go to the very middle. So we want it to go to zero, zero. And forever, we need it to stay on the top layer or the front layer. So forever, go to the front layer. We need that camera sprite to be on top. And as it moves around, it's going to show some things that will be underneath. Okay, our next section, we did say in the instructions from the astronaut that we are going to get our user to control this sprite using the arrow keys. So let's code our arrow keys to work. Okay, let's start with when the right arrow is pressed, we are going to change X by 10. So it's going to move 10 places to the right. Now I'm going to do the left arrow key. I like to duplicate my blocks of code. So when the left arrow key is pressed, we're going to change X by minus 10. So it will go to the left. Okay, the next one. It's going to be quicker for me to choose new blocks this time. So when the up arrow is pressed, we are going to change Y this time. So change Y by 10. I'm going to duplicate that code. When the down arrow is pressed, move by minus 10 on the Y axis. So let's test this code out to make sure that our arrow keys are working correctly. Okay, so I can see that my sprite is on the screen and using my arrow keys, it is moving like I believe it should. I'm gonna try up and down as well, revealing lots of different stars as it moves about the screen. So it must be time to add in our other sprites as something to be found by the camera. Let's code the satellite sprite. I love this little satellite, which is one of the main heroes from Moonhack 2022. For this sprite, we're going to code it so that when the green flag is clicked, it's going to hide. We don't want it when the astronaut is talking. And the rest of what it is going to be coded to do is going to happen when it receives that broadcast of camera. So the first thing we need it to do when it does get that broadcast is to show up on screen. Now, remember the camera sprite is on the front layer. So it will actually be hidden underneath this sprite. We're gonna add a control block of forever because we want this code to continue happening forever. Now, this satellite sprite is actually going to be gliding across the background. Now we're going to make it move slowly. So let's do a glide of five seconds to a random position. I don't want it to go off the edge of the screen. So I'm going to add a block if on edge bounce. And I'm also going to add the block set rotation style left to right so that when it bounces off the edge, it doesn't flip upside down or go random. It's going to stay in that current position. Okay, let's test the code. Oh, I saw a little bit of the satellite there in my testing. So let's see if I can go find it. And here it is gliding across the screen. So I can attempt to find it and follow it if I choose to with my camera sprite being controlled. Fantastic. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. So I'm going to click stop and let's go and code our Earth sprite. Okay, so just like the satellite sprite, I might drag and drop. When it is, uh, when the green flag is clicked, I need it to hide. And then when it receives the broadcast of camera, this is when it's going to do its thing. So once again, the first thing we need it to show. 
and I'm going to give it an exact position to go to. I want it to be at this position of x 150 and y minus 100. Now attached to this one, we are going to add a variable and this variable is going to be a zoom function. So let's make a variable and we're going to call it zoom. Zoom and this variable does go for all sprites. Click on OK. I now can see my variable zoom is sitting up here. I actually want it to be a slider bar though. So if I right click on this and choose it to be slider, my player can now control the zoom function to be able to zoom in and out. On this sprite, I want to set the zoom to 30. So it's going to start small and then I want to be able to show that variable of zoom on the screen. Adding in a control forever block, we're going to set the size of our sprite. Now here we could set it to 100%, but I want to set it to match that zoom. So whatever the player puts on the slider is what set size is going to be. So let's go to our variables and drag across that zoom and drop it in here. Now we have our player controlling the size of our earth. Now on our little earth, if I jump into costumes here, we have an astronaut. So we're actually going to code it so that it flicks between these two. So let's go and add in a next costume block. And we're going to add a weight function of 0 0.2 seconds so that it's going to have a flicking astronaut on the screen. Let's test it out. So the satellite just flew past. Now, if I use my knowledge of coordinates, minus 100 is going to be down the bottom half and 150x is over here. There we go, I can see my Earth with the little astronaut blinking on top. And if I use my mouse and control the zoom, I can zoom in and out, acting like my mobile phone camera to try and find it. How cool is that? Okay. Now that we know that that works, let's go and code our other sprites. We're going to go to the star next. So to code our star, the coding blocks are very similar to that of the Earth. We just have to change some of the details. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy the coding blocks onto the star by dragging and dropping them over the top. And when I jump on here, if I move that across, I have it. Now at the moment, all of the information in these coding blocks applies to the Earth. But for the star, there's a few things that we want to change. We still want it to hide when the green flag is clicked and we still want it to show when it receives camera, but we don't want it to start in the same position as the Earth. We want a different position. So it's going to go to X 120 and Y 90. I still want the zoom to start at 30%, so a lot smaller, but still can be seen. I still want that variable zoom to show on here. I still want to forever set the size to zoom so it's controlled, and I still want it to flick to next costume because if I have a look here, it's got a little orange star in the middle to make it twinkle. We're going to code the planets for right now. So same as before, I'm going to drag and drop our coding blocks across because we want basically the same lot of coding, but just some changes of details. So yes, for our planet, we want it to hide when the green flag is clicked. When it receives camera, we want it to show. This time we want it to go to position X minus 120 and Y minus 90. And the rest of those details stay exactly the same, unless you would like to change them. Time to test out our completed project. Let's go to full screen mode. 
I love looking into space. I might use my phone's camera to look closer. Use the arrow keys to move the camera. Slide the zoom bar too. Oh, my satellite straight away. I love that it comes through. Let's go and find our hidden objects. Now a player playing this game won't know how many there are, but I know there's three because we've just coded it. I've found the star. Let's change the zoom on the star and zoom it in and out. Fantastic, it's working, love that. Let's go and find the next one. And I found the astronaut on Earth. And once again, we can zoom in and out using or acting like our zoom on a camera. And because I know the coordinates, I will move to our next one. We have a satellite blinking over a planet. So there we have it, coders. We have completed our Looking Into Space project. Congratulations on completing your Looking Into Space Moonhack project. Can't wait to see what you do with these. We're excited for you to ask a trusted adult to share your project back with us if you'd like it to be added to our Moonhack studio. How are you going to change and innovate on your project? We love it when you create new things and make it more exciting. Perhaps you're going to change the sprites that are hidden in the background for people to find or create different costumes. Maybe there's going to be seven things to find, not just three. Maybe you're going to add a scoring system to see how many they can find in a certain amount of time. Maybe you're going to completely change and add in another different background with other things to find. It's completely up to you what you choose to do to improve and build on this project. Perhaps you might add some information in that explains how the camera used on our mobile phones was actually built for space travel originally. Thanks for joining us for Moonhack 2023. Can't wait to see what you have produced and we hope you enjoy all of the projects. Happy coding, everyone. <laughs>